Um, is it okay if I come in? <laughs> yes, it's me. Nobody else would be at your house at this time of night. Or at least I would hope so, but that's besides the point. Are you going to let me in or no? <laughs> hi, hi, how are you? The reason I'm here is because your mom called me, telling me that you had a little bit of a tantrum, kind of like a lash out moment. And she said that you were in your room, upset, crying, and that you needed some cheering up. So she called me to come and cheer you up because she knew that I was probably the only person on earth that can do so. Aside from all of your other friends, but I live the closest, so I took on the challenge. Oh, um, she offered me to stay the night because it was getting dark and she didn't want me to go back home in the dark, so I'm going to be sleeping at your house. But don't worry, I won't be in your room. I'll be on the couch. Well, yeah, I'm not going to take up your space. Are you sure? I'm only asking because, you know, we're kind of grown now. Obviously, when we were younger, it was more acceptable because, you know, we're young, we're innocent, and all that stuff. But now that we're grown and we've experienced the world, kind of, and we know things, so I don't know, it's up to you. Obviously, I'll sleep on the floor. I'm not going to sleep in the bed with you. You're honestly so silly. <laughs> Whatever. Um, do you mind telling me why you had your little session? Or do you want to just not talk about it? I'm fine with either. But if you did tell me what happened, I would have a lot to talk about. And maybe I'd be able to help you solve your issue. And if you didn't, I'd kind of just be in the dark talking to you and cheering you up with random ideas when... We could be facing the problem head on. You had a tantrum because you asked to hang out with your friends and your mother said no. Well, that's not like her. She usually lets you hang out. What exactly did you ask to do? You asked to go to the movies and then go to the mall. That doesn't sound so bad to me. Why would she say no? You asked to go right now. Darling, it is almost one o'clock in the morning and you want to go to the movies and then after the movies, go to the mall, which means that the earliest that you can probably get home would be like five o'clock in the morning if i was your parent i would have said no too you have to understand where your mom is coming from <laughs> okay you know what i'm not here to give you a second lecture i'm here to cheer you up and that's what i'm going to do so what do you want to watch well i said i wasn't going to be in your room for sleeping even though you said that you're okay with it I might take the floor, might, but that doesn't mean that we cannot hang out. There's a TV, there's a bed, we can lay down, maybe watch some TV, but once it gets to that time where we start yawning, like we're super, super tired, then I will hit the floor and I will try my best to be comfortable. Yes, leaving you on the bed by yourself to sleep. I'm pretty sure we already went over that. Don't look so disappointed. We can hang out in the morning. Whatever. What did you want to watch? The Bridgertons. Are you sure about that? You are aware that that is a romance show about people finding marriage and gaining higher powers. <laughs> Fine. What season are you on? I ask you because I've already finished the show. I'm asking you so we can continue from where you left off, and I'll try my best not to spoil anything. But no promises. 
if anything exciting happens and I remember it off the top of my head, I might blurt out a thing or two, but trust me, it's not because I I intend to spoil anything for you. It's because I'm simply just excited. Season 2, Episode 4. <laughs> okay, well then, let's get to watching. <sighs> that... That was cool. Huh. The episodes always leave with these stupid cliffhangers. I mean, I don't hate it, but I wish that... I mean, I don't hate it because it leads perfectly into the next episode, which will probably continue in the morning, but when you finish it and then you're like gonna go to bed or like gonna go do something else, it stays on your mind like a plague and it's just, it's so annoying because you want to think about the different endings and stuff, but you just can't seem to figure out the picture. But, <laughs> whatever. Um, I'm getting tired, as you can tell, I just yawned. So, I'm going to grab your pillow. Well, not your favorite one, obviously. I'm going to grab that one. And I'm going to hit the floor. You can give me your other blanket if you want. The one that you don't prefer. I mean, I... What do you mean, how do I know about your second blanket? I know everything about you. From the things that you like, to the things that you hate the things that you love, to the things that you literally can't stand. We've known each other literally all of our lives. I know you have a second blanket. It may not be on the bed visibly, but it's probably in like a drawer or something. <laughs> there it is. See, I told you I knew you. <laughs> Don't make that stupid face with me. Well, anyways, sleep well, and I hope you felt better with my visit. And in the morning, after breakfast, I should leave. <laughs> Alright, good night. <sighs> the floor is super uncomfortable. What? Oh, sorry, I, I didn't mean to wake you. I was just exclaiming how I hate how the floor feels. It's very rough and... Not very fit for a bed, since you have hardwood. I have a carpet at my house, so sometimes I usually just lay down and completely knock out, but on hardwood, it's literally impossible. Are you sure you want me to join you? Okay, fine. I'm only accepting because I literally cannot sleep. <laughs> wow. This is what you sleep on every day? <laughs> it feels amazing. <laughs> well, good night then. I'm sorry? And why exactly do you want me to turn around? Okay, fine, fine. Just make it quick. Um... I thought we agreed on not getting too close with each other. Because something like this would happen. What do you mean and what about it? You're getting a little too close right now. I'm sorry, what? I said that I knew everything about you. Well, I do. I mean, we've... Okay, sorry. What does that have to do with anything? If I know everything about you, then what is it that you want right now? Well, from the way that you're looking at me, and the situation that we're in, I can only guess that you want me to kiss you. But I must warn you, if you do kiss me, our friendship isn't going to be the same. Are you sure? <laughs> um, I 
guess, I guess you are sure, um, <laughs> that was something, I guess. And now your face is all red. Well, true, um, the lights are off and I can't properly see your face, but remember, I know everything about you. <laughs> Good night, sleep well, and if you need anything in the middle of the night, don't be afraid to wake me up and let me know, okay? I'm at your service. Remember, I'm here for you, okay? <laughs> okay, good night.